Hey, what's up everybody? This is PCJ here with a special unboxing to share with you. Uh, as many of you know, I have a P.O. Box available. Anytime you want to send me anything or have anything featured on the channel, you can always do so. Um, I've had wonderful, wonderful things sent to me uh, from, local, from very loyal fans that uh, wanted to see me unbox different things, whether it's a box or mystery minis and so forth. Uh, well, I received something in my P.O. Box just the other day and wanted to share with y'all. Uh, this is from Anthony from Rhode Island. Thank you so much, Anthony, for uh, sharing these. Uh, he sent me some uh, WWE Heritage 2016 trading cards. Uh, crazy. Have you been holding on to these for two years and you just decided, I want PCJ to check these out or what? I don't know, but he sent me a box uh, or a package in the mail and it contained four packs of WWE 2016 trading cards. And I say, hey, you want to see something featured on the channel? You want to get a shout out on a video? There you go. Hey, Anthony, thank you so much for this. We're going to check out these awesome cards. I hope I maybe find some really good ones and we'll see uh, what you sent me. So it says here, look for the Rock Tribute card. So maybe we'll get lucky and get that. Uh, sometimes they say on the back here, like the, the chances or possibilities of finding different cards. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how many uh, different types of specialty cards are. We've un I've unwrapped a few trading cards, but it's been a few years now uh, where they might have like autograph cards or like uh, pieces of like the, the ring mat or somebody's clothing or something like that put in a card. So who knows what kind these have, but uh, WWE trading cards, hey, that's always awesome to check out. So let's go ahead and get to the actual unwrapping. So each pack has nine cards. You got uh, John Cena. Andre the Giant and The Rock on the uh, packaging there. And who knows, this could have, like, it's basically saying you're going to have past, present, future. Well, not really future because all these guys have kind of been, you know, they're past their prime. Uh, but, yeah, you're going to have all kinds of characters probably uh, featured in the cards. So let's get to the first pack here. Let's see uh, what we have, how they look. All right. Well, we're starting. Oh, wow. These kind of look like old, well, they're tops. Uh, so, they, yeah, they look like 19... 80s uh, baseball cards. I've got a bunch of uh, baseball cards with this same kind of border. Uh, that's pretty sweet. All right, so our first card is Apollo Cruz, who sadly has been just, you know, poorly used ever since he came up to the main roster. Uh, he really should have never left NXT. I mean, that's the story with a lot of folks. Uh, Samoa Joe. This, I mean, I want to see Samoa Joe get that, get the uh, a world title run in WWE very soon. He deserves it. Uh, so, yeah, this is 2016. That's when he was still part of NXT, but he's done a lot since then. Um, I'm hoping, hoping he'll get a good uh, a good 2019 run. Uh, Viva La Raza, Eddie Guerrero, one of the nicest wrestlers you could ever hope to have met. You know, rest in peace, a true legend, but I had the pleasure of getting to meet Eddie Guerrero back in 2000, I want to say 2003, 2004, 2003. It was 2003, and uh, could not have been nicer. Most humble you know star I've probably ever met. Ah, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. And he's got the, uh, looks like he's got the world title there. I think that's the WWE title. Can't tell, can't really see it, but I never showed you all the back. So on the back of the cards, though, uh, real quick, let's look at the back of these. It'll give you stats, I'm assuming. Yeah, so it gives you the height, the weight, where they're from, and then a little biography on, the, uh, on each wrestler. Okay. So we got Macho Man there. Ah, we got another legend right there, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. That's one of the uh, top three on my list of uh, wrestlers I've never been able to meet yet. No, my top three I've never been able to meet so far, still Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, and uh, Hulk Hogan. Never gotten to meet the, uh, any of them. I got to see Shawn Michaels and Undertaker wrestle uh, many times. I got to see them wrestle at uh, WrestleMania 25, the greatest match of all time. But, and I still to this day have never seen Hulk Hogan in person, period. Whether it's just in the ring or, in, you know, actually medium, whatever. But, yeah, Shawn Michaels, legend card. Mr. Wall Street. Oh, wow. NWO All-Star card. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, other people know this uh, gentleman as who is who? Erwin R. Scheister, IRS. Or you also know him as... Bray Wyatt's daddy. Yes. <laughs> ah, look at this. Uh, the Rock tribute card. Is that the main card? Or is there one in every pack? It just says, look for the Rock tribute card. Well, we got the Rock tribute. And it says, uh, defeats Chris Jericho for the second, or for his second WCW championship. Okay. Oh, there's, oh, wow. Okay, there's, so it says, look for the Rock tribute card, but there's a total of 40 of them. So we got number 22, so... Not very, 
not very rare, but I guess you don't get them in every pack, maybe. But so we got one tribute card there. Record breaker, most WrestleMania wins. Got the Undertaker, of course, and then turn back the clock. Jake the Snake Roberts, legend. All right. Uh, so let's go on to the second pack and see if we've got anybody different. Problem I always have with trading cards. Same thing I have with mystery minis. I started to get so many doubles and duplicates and triplicates and everything. You know, just got so many of the same cards. All right, got super. Uh, I put legend by now, okay? <laughs> but superstar Undertaker, Rusev, Luke Harper. I mean, this guy has so much potential. If they would just give him a solid run, I wish they had, you know, done a better job with the Wyatt family in general. But still, Dolph Ziggler. I still don't really know what what the hell his character really is. I don't think uh, they know what to do with his character. Alberto Del Rio. Don't get me started on that piece of crap. NXT Bailey. Yes. Sad that they have not pushed her the way that she should be pushed. She was, I mean, she was money coming out of NXT, and they just, again, watered her down. Ric Flair, WWE All-Star card. Awesome. Uh, youngest world champ. No, he wasn't. There's other people that have been younger. Anyways, turn back the clock. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I actually have these trading cards. I got a full uncut sheet of those kind of cards uh, somewhere in my collection. Uh, picked it up at a flea market for like 10 bucks. <laughs> Can't believe that. All right, so let's go into our third pack. Anthony, you did a great job so far. We got some good cards. Haven't had any doubles, so you did a good job on the, wherever you picked up these packs from. All right. Ah, we got Superstar Paige. Such a shame that, you know, she, she for the foreseeable future, will never, you know, wrestle. Uh, it's sad. She had a lot of potential, and unfortunately, you know, she, you know, she made some mistakes, and, you know, she has done a better job, uh, or she's done a great job as the uh, GM role they gave her and such, but... Uh, it is a shame that you know the the few years that she did have to do everything she could do in the ring. You know she had a lot of uh, bad mistakes, bad choices she made that uh, kind of you know took a lot of that time away from it. Mandy Rose, I think she's got a lot of potential. I don't think she's the greatest wrestler, no, but I think she's got a, a really great character that they could really do a lot with. Sheamus, I mean, sadly, I liked Sheamus, I really did, and I wish they had pushed him better, but you know. Uh, in a different way. Um, I think he could have been a badass heel uh, and a really, really good heel. Uh, but, you know, they've kind of turned him sort of like into the big show. He kind of flip-flops too much back and forth uh, from good to bad. And even with the bar, you don't really know, are they good or they bad? Or are they just, you know, we're trying to be funny, but we're bad. I don't know. Jimmy Uso, Uso's great tag team. Eric Rowan also. I mean, the Wyatt family in general was just amazing. I, I loved the whole intro of their uh, stable, and it just it's unfortunate how they didn't uh, push them as strong as they could have gone. Macho Man, Randy Savage, NWO All-Star, the Red and Black. Loved it. Love the NWO Red and Black. Wolfpack. Legend, Andre the Giant. That's a great card. And we got, ah, uh, greatest intercontinental champion of all time, Honky Tonk Man. That is the greatest title belt of all time. That's my favorite belt of all time. Love it. Ooh, turn back the clock. Undertaker. Nice. Wow, this is, I mean, I'm sure we just jinxed ourselves with this last pack. But so far, we have not had any doubles of any of the cards. They've all been different. So very cool. All right, last pack. And Carl Anderson, again, the club they could have done so much with. Dean Ambrose, yes. This guy I'm a big fan of. I don't like what they've been doing recently with this character. I think it's a little ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, I, I think he hopefully can bounce back. Braun Strowman, I don't even know what Braun Strowman is anymore, okay? They, they made an error trying to make him into a, a, a naive heel earlier this uh, fall with uh, Roman going out and all that, and just like, oh, just, I don't know. They, they, they need to kind of leave things alone and just let them let things happen organically a lot more. But got John Cena there, of course, you know, of all, greatest of all time, one of the greatest. Kane, superstar, the legend, the icon, Sting. Oh, Bam Bam Bigelow, WCW All-Star. Hey, WCW All-Star, WWF All-Star, ECW All-Star, I mean, come on. Guy did it all everywhere. Uh, no, no, no. Well, well, let me. Where's AJ Lee's card? Okay, show me AJ Lee's card. Uh oh, we got a double. <laughs> Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, uh, trading card, turn back the clock. But hey, that's our only double. Not bad. All right, there we go. So Anthony, 
Thank you so much. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> Anthony, thanks so much for these cards, man. I love them. They're awesome. They look great. And usually what I do with my trading cards, um, number one thing I try to do is always put them into sleeves and a binder. But what I've been trying to do lately is I want to build collage of some sort. Uh, in uh, like I get poster frames, and I'll put a whole collage of these together. Uh, the other thing I like to do is take... Uh, the little individual card holders and I'll, have, I'll put magnets on the back and I'll stick those up on you know, like workbenches and fridge and all that stuff. Uh, so I like to display the cards more than just put them in binders but uh, for the moment these are going to go in a binder and that way they stay you know protected and safe but yeah I'm going to enjoy uh, d getting to display these and such. So thank you so much Anthony I appreciate this. Really kind of you to send me the cards, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, like I said before, anyone out there, if you want to send me something to ever feature on the channel here, uh, my P.O. box is in the description of every single video, and you can send me whatever you want to send me, whether it's trading cards, blind boxes, blind bags, mystery minis, whatever. Always fun to do this. So thanks again. Appreciate it. And everyone out there, thank you for watching and joining in, as always. Well, if you enjoyed it, as always, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet as well. Please leave me some comments. Well, guys, gals, everyone out there that's watching, and I uh, hope you'll tune in again. See us next time. This is PCJ, the Pop Culture Junkie, signing out.